Great. My name is Elise Schreckengast. I'm an associate program of officer with the Gates Foundation Water Sanitation and Hygiene Team. Um, my specific area is around treatment and reuse of uh, fecal sludge. It's, a, it's an exciting topic. Um, the Gates Foundation's Water Sanitation and Hygiene Team um, has a strategy that's focusing primarily on sanitation, um, and we have a specific area of that of that strategy that's focusing on tools and technologies for urban sanitation solutions. Um, and my area within that is uh, fecal sludge treatment and reuse. Um, and so we're looking for technological solutions um, and financing arrangements that help us pull really um, the, the goods out of the, the toilets um, and out of wherever they may be hiding um, and bring them to treatment centers so that they're out of the environment, so that the, the pathogens are out of the environment, but the resources, the nutrients and energy potential in that sludge um, is available for capture and reuse, um, whether it be on farms or whether it be um, selling energy back to the grid, whether it's uh, biodiesel okay. or kind of products. Uh, that's interesting. We were talking earlier about uh, moving away from a focus on, on toilets Mm -hmm. And can you say something about uh, what, you know, the foundation is now thinking about that mm -hmm. and uh, what different parts of uh, the sanitation cycle you're looking at? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the foundation really wanted to, to, to not stop the story, end the story at um, containment, where, where do you go um, to, to use the toilet, but really say, you know, what happens after the latrines are full, what happens in three years after everyone has access to toilets, where, what's the public services part of, of that question, and how do you um, ensure that those solutions are durable and sustainable over the long run, and so that's why we really looked at, um, decided to look at, at the transport of, of sludge, and then also the kind of treatment and reuse solutions that, that are most sustainable, um, and so... The containment um, design, sustainability of design and around containment and the toilet design itself is, is one issue. Um, the transport of that sludge is another issue and then we see the treatment and reuse as a, as a third issue and kind of what are the markets for those products. Okay. Well, it's interesting to see uh, the foundation here and how you've had this shift from uh, focusing on, on water and sanitation to then sanitation and then some water. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I wish you a lot of success with that. Great, thanks yeah. very much. Okay.